Tis my blade! Hi guys, Josh Strange Phoenix, and we're back for Let's Play Final Fantasy Walkthrough, uh, Let's Play Final Fantasy 12, Part 5. And what do we have here? We have some people that will be returning in the storyline. Interesting that they were being shown now, I don't know if it's whether to hint to them or not, but we will see them again. I don't like them, but we'll get to that when we meet them. So, we're in the lovely royal city of Rabinasta, and we have to go and see old Dallin, and he lives in Lowtown, which is pretty much the poor... The poor town, you could, I guess you could call it. It's where all the poor people live. Um, it's, it looks a bit scuzzy, but I, it's one of my favourite places in the game, actually. I don't know why. It's just quite a nice place down there. Uh, good details and all that that they've made. Um, but no monsters or anything to kill, so although it's one of my favourite places in the game. And it's got, I think, the cool, one of the coolest bits of music. Uh, you can't do anything down there, really. Uh, there's like one guy who sells things, and that's it. I mean, it only has a bit of uh, slight importance at the beginning, but that's it. But that's only because you have to go and see old Dallin. So we're going to see old Dallin for Well, Varn would like to get into the palace, uh, the fate, um, tonight in the game, of course. And uh, he has no way of getting in there, but he thinks that old Dallin knows. And old Dallin is some sort of, I don't know, go-to guy in the game. For all the people who are in Rabinasta in Lowtown. He seems to know everything or something like that. And we are here. We're actually, I think we're right next to his place now. I oh, know, uh, we're nearly next to him. Uh, important thing about old Dallin's place is opposite his house is the treasure chest. Uh, now, I've already told about this treasure chest. Uh, do not pick it up. You, you Just don't touch it because if you do... Uh, You've lost all your chances of getting the Zodiac Spear like that, and all you get is 11 gil. So was it worth getting 11 gil and um, ruining your chances of getting a Zodiac Spear, which has 150 attack and 8 evasion? I don't think so. <clears throat> oh, it cuts in, so I'll be talking after this. Ah, if it isn't Van Ratsbane. Come for a tip on how to secure something bigger and in armor by the East Gate? What? You already heard about that? Wise I may not be, but well informed I am. They'll get what's coming to them someday, believe me. But that's not why I'm here. Do tell. I want to know how to sneak into the palace. They've got to have some great stuff in there. Thought I'd partake. <laughs> not one do mince words, are you, boy? The Empire protects all that's hers, and that means the palace and all the treasures inside. That's why I'm gonna do it. To take back what's ours. <clears throat> so, our champion of the sewers aspires to noble action. Admirable. Perhaps I can help you. Ah, now that I think on it, there was a rumor. Yes, a secret passageway into the palace walls. A door and a magic yes. stone that opens the way. That's it. This is exactly why I came to talk to you first, Alan. So, where's this, uh, magic stone? Uh, oh, I've had it for years, if I can remember where I've tucked it away. <clears throat> Hi guys, I'm back. Um, so, uh, we need a magic stone to get into the palace, um, to get into the palace treasury. And the only way that Dallin will let us do that is to get him something first. It's always something you have to do to get something that you want. Um, if you really want to read this, go back and pause at everything he says. It's not very important. I will, I will um, go slower if there's important um, things. The only thing is, I've re I've read it all before, and I really don't like that. Um, I don't like that um, that they they don't actually talk. It's a load of subtitles. I can't stand that. Um, so you, you can imagine me in Pokemon. I'd pretty much just spam on the A button until it disappears, all of the text, and I can just get on with the fighting. Uh, but then Pokemon's more straightforward. This game isn't. So we need to get a Sunstone for Old Dallin, which means going to the Geyser Plains or Geyser, or I don't know what it's called. I'm going to call it the 
geyser planes. Um, I don't know why, because um, uh, geyser is totally spelt different, I think. But I don't care. That's why I'm going to say a lot of these uh, Final Fantasy games have got very strange names um, for their places. There's a chest again. Don't forget, do not pick that up. So, we're off to the geyser planes. Uh, which is home to a few hunts and uh, also will become, um, well actually it changes um, uh, eventually uh, when we get further in the storyline, but there's no point going into that until we actually get to it. Uh, but there are a lot of hunts there, there's some rare beasts, uh, or rare monsters, whatever you want to call them. So yeah, there's a lot to be doing in Geyser Plains. Um, first thing first, uh, if you see his teleports, don't activate it straight away, just go up to it, press A and then pre uh, go to done. Uh, reason being is if you unlock, uh, if you find another teleport crystal, uh, you just hit A again and what you can do is you can go to teleport and you can use a teleport stone to go back to Rabanasta or wherever there is one. And it's a very quick way of travelling. Teleport stones are easy to come by, you can buy them on the airships, um, they do, obviously they charge a lot. There are a lot of uh, and, uh, beasts in this game that drop them, uh, I think you can steal them as well so uh, don't worry about that, you'll be getting them eventually anyway. Uh, I do think the Esther Sands, um, not the Esther Sands, the uh, Yensa Sansi people drop them. Or, uh, yeah, I think they do. Once you chain them high enough, you get a lot of them. Uh, here I was being a bit cautious of this treasure chest. Uh, I didn't know whether I could do it or not. This was because before uh, I didn't actually look up because I forgot all about how to get the Zodiac Spear. Um, but uh, don't worry, uh, they are. The only reason I was cautious about it is because all of the chests are actually. Um, Three of the areas, the three areas you've got to be careful of um, and not pick up any chests in or right at the beginning. Obviously, old Dallans and the other two are coming soon. There's one more that you don't unlock for ages anyway, so you don't have to worry about that one. But I will, I will indicate um, where they are so you know. Uh, I, I think it's best, although they are chests filled with gill, um, and I know the Zodiac Spear isn't easy to get. I will show you how to get it. Um, don't don't pick up the chest because they only give you like 10 gil or a potion and to be honest potions aren't exactly important um, once you get further in the game um, not that much further and you get you get magics uh, to cure, um, cure yourself anyway get your health up so there's no point in even getting them because they don't give you much anyway so I'd say don't get them uh, just forget about them and get the zodiac spear because the zodiac spear is the ultimate weapon uh, there is more than one, you can get more than one, and I will uh, get all the espers, I'll be showing them uh, where they are, what their weaknesses are and all that. Uh, but that's after the main story. Obviously we will be getting a few anyway during the main story, so we'll be, well when we get to them, uh, we'll get to them. So now we're in the little village. I'm pretty sure I've been here before because this doesn't spawn a cutscene going, da -da -da, showing a village, or I think, I'm not sure. Uh, there are, is one hunt in here. Or two, uh, but the second one's actually when it isn't looking like this. Um, and you can actually talk to the chickens. Oh, no, it stares at you. Okay, so you don't actually talk to them, but uh, there is one that actually talks. I'm not insane. Um, it's after you do uh, you collect some items and give it to this woman. This one that talks, but that's all the way in the Esther Sands, so we're not there yet. So, so we talk to this woman. She pretty much says that one of the children they send out the children to go and get the sunstones. His name's Jin, and he hasn't come back yet. Uh, so we have to go and find him. What uh, are you doing another here? Cutscene. Oh, it's Pinello. What are you doing here? Though the answer is pretty clear. No good. What? I'm being good. Hmm. Is that right? So then you wouldn't mind if I, say, tagged along, would you? Huh? Oh, don't worry. Miguel is busy with preparations for the fade up at the palace. Why, I'm free for the whole day. Well, let's get going. Hmm. So, Vaughn's got a stalker, hey? Well, well, well. Sam Pinello joins my party, we're a little bit stronger. Um, here I make an idiot move and buy a dagger, which um, well, like, gives plus one to Vaughn. I didn't even equip it. I probably will equip it um, in the next video, I'm not sure. Um, I, think I'm, I think I forget about it in part six. Um, but um, without looking at the inventory, Penella's already got one. It was actually for her. Oh, you can buy some Phoenix Downs here. Um, but if you do want to do a Dusty Glitch, I wouldn't do it while you have Pinello. Um, because you ha she'll be taking the XP away from you. Uh, even if you have her off the party. Also, uh, she'll come back as that level and not. Uh, um, she won't come back with whatever level you are when she does uh, come back into it. 
So I suggest if you really do want to do Dusty Glitch, you do it after. And talking about Dusty Glitch, she gives you two Tufts of Phoenix down. Do not use them. Uh, it's not like you're going to um, die here anyway. That's what they're used for, to revive your allies. But try not to die. Even if Pinata does die, just ignore her and flee and just um, do what we're about to have to do in a minute. Uh, because those two Tufts of Phoenix down will get you started on the Dusty Glitch. Um, and then after that, when, while you're doing Dusty Glitch, you collect items from him and uh, they give you quite a bit of money. And then you can get more Phoenix Downs continuing by more and more and more and more until eventually you want to stop at a level which you are. Um, I will put a link to the Dusty Glitch um, video. Not in this one because uh, I'll show you it. Um, probably in part 7, I'm not sure. So now we have to go and find Jin. Uh, and I went the wrong way. But it's not that hard to find. Uh, you have to go right to the back of the village and make a right, I believe it is. Right, yeah, right at the sunstone, I think. No saving needed. Oh, I was just re-healing myself. Uh, like I said, um, they heal you. So yeah, it is a right. It's a right at the sunstone. Um, and uh, where, is, where is this kid? I don't even know where he is. I've forgotten. Uh, we'll just have to watch and see. So there's a couple of beasts in this area that will be a little bit um, over leveled for you. You can try out fighting them if you want, but you don't really want to waste your potions this early. Uh, talking about these ones, really. Um, yeah, you will be able to kill them, but there's two of them there, and they'll uh, they'll attack you both at the same time, and uh, it'll be a little bit much to handle. Uh, so if you really do want to grind at this point in the game with Pinello, uh, I wouldn't advise it. I'd do it after you, uh, Pinello leaves. Um, I'd just attack hyenas in the first areas uh, and then keep going into the village and coming back out so they spawn. So we're off to find Jin and I'll take a wrong turn. And as you can see there, that glowing rock will become more important in a minute. Uh, it's not very hard to find, uh, he's, li he's literally over there, so it's like one area, one area, and he's there. Uh, there is a save crystal here, in this next area, so uh, there's plenty of save crystals in this place, there's two, uh, and they're both in good areas, so you can just go back to them, you don't have to use your potions if you're low on health, and they also revive your allies, so which is really good. And here's a bit I don't understand, right, his leg hurts, so he stands up, but he can't stand up for long, he has to quickly crouch down. And then look what happens when you say, alright, explain the situation. Yeah, he gets back up and he stands up for the rest of the cutscene. So I think he's just trying to get out of doing this and he's trying to make us do it. But then, um, why would they send out children in the first place to do this with all these beasts around? I think that's, they have very low morals or standards, that's kind of harsh. I think that's kind of harsh. So it's giving you a shade stone, uh, which sucks up this light, uh, this glowing stuff around the rocks. Uh, again, pause if you really want to read this, um, but obviously when you get to it, you can read it. If you're pl uh, if you're following this as a walkthrough, you can read it. Pause the video, whatever you're doing. So uh, first, just go to the easiest one, which is here. Um, it's kind of random. They're random in uh, percentages because obviously you have to fill up the shade stone by 100%. And each glowing rock gives you a certain percentage. Uh, I was just lucky with my uh, uh, the two I chose. I think it's two. Um, so some of them will give you 10. Some of them will give you like 70%. This one gives 26, I think. Dead on. Dead on. I recorded this like three days ago. I can remember. I got a photographic memory here. Um, so I think I end this here uh, because it was getting in 15 minutes and I wanted to continue it on in the next part. So we uh, got to see it all. Uh, so thanks guys for watching um, obviously part 6 will also be up today um, might do part 7 and 8 get them up today the rest of the video should be live commentary unless there's a reason they're, they're not uh, but all of them should be live commentary from now on so uh, I won't be doing any more of these voiceovers where I don't know what's happening I can talk more so thanks for watching please comment, rate and